So what up YouTube? Today is December 22nd, 2014. Time right now is 3.52 p.m. And it's an unboxing video. So, if you guys are into electronics projects, electronics like I am, eventually you'll come across ham radio. And they seem to go hand in hand. So, I've been here about ham radio for a while, and finally I decided that I had enough time to dedicate to study for the test. So last Thursday I went and I took the test. I passed the technician test, which is the one I studied for. Then they asked me if I wanted to take the general, and uh, I failed the general by one point, which is pretty good for not studying for it. But I'm kind of glad I didn't pass it because I would have had to go on back and you know read all the rules and stuff about uh, having your general license. So you know I can do that in the future. But then after I passed, I don't have a, a ham radio at all. So. I, after looking around, I knew I wanted a, a hand handheld radio, and at first I was thinking about getting like a real expensive uh, Yezu or uh, Kenwood, but then I realized uh, I might get on ham radio and realize that no one uses it anymore. So uh, you see all these uh, you see all these Balfangs all over the place, all over YouTube. So I thought, well, I'll get a Balfang. So, after I passed my test and came home, I was looking on Amazon, and they had the one that everyone has, the UV5R. I believe that's the uh, model number. And that one was for $30, or if you wanted the V2, it was $35. And then they came out with this brand new one, the BF F9 V2 Plus, which advertises as a 8-watt uh, handheld and this was uh, $60 so I decided to get this one because uh, even though I know I read that 8 watts doesn't mean you have double power but they said it is a uh, you never know when you might need the extra um, wattage to just hit the hand just hit the repeater so I thought I would do an unboxing and especially since no one on YouTube really has the BF F9 V2 Plus. This is a brand new one that just came out. So, here we go. So we have a Balfang, Pofang card. Oh, brand re-imaging. Pofang. I like the name Balfang better than that. We have a user manual. And there's the radio. It's got blue. I mean, what other ham radio can you get that's in blue? Oh, it looks cool. The buttons are clicky. There's the battery. Oh. Battery was tight. Oh look, it came on. Oh. <laughs> it came on. You got the belt clip. Earpiece. Antenna. And charger, charging station. So on top of buying this, so I ordered everything on Thursday. I also bought a, a MFJ antenna, and I also bought a, the handheld speaker mic and the programming cable that plugs in the side here, and uh, everything on Thursday. The all the other items came on a Monday, and then this was supposed to come on this Friday, but uh, FedEx decided to hold it. I don't know why, and then it didn't come until this uh, Monday. So, after patiently waiting, I got it.
So I'm going to go and try to program some uh, frequencies using the USB cable. Okay, well, everything went so far so good. Plugged it into the USB cable, loaded up Chirp. Now, for this radio, I have the BF F9 V2. Uh, it says you gotta use the BF F8 HP uh, on Chirp. So I did that and it said warning this is an experimental radio or something. But it loaded up fine. But uh, as you can see I have a whole bunch of stuff programmed in there. Uh, so I don't know if this radio was used, you know, returned from Amazon or what. But I'm just going to delete all this up stuff and start. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to delete everything and then I'm going to... Uh, the club that I took my test at gave me a little pamphlet and it showed their four repeaters that they have. So I'm going to just put program those four repeaters in. Okay, so that was pretty painless using Chirp. I programmed four repeaters. Oh yeah, and I did a reset. Uh, I did a total reset uh, bef and then I re-programmed uh, it. So now it's in uh, So that one was receiving a lot of static. So maybe I gotta turn the squelch up. No matter how. Oh, hold on. I don't know why I programmed the it's giving me the frequency it's not giving me the name so I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit well I got the couple repeaters program got the weather channel program in it wasn't that big of a pain in but I still don't know I'm kinda too mic shy to try to hit a repeater I did hear people talking on the repeater earlier, so I don't know if I have everything set right. When I tried to get a scan, it well that one put an R up there, but on the other one it was putting a CT, so I don't know what the CT means. But I'm still trying to get used to the radio. But so far, it feels good in your hand. It doesn't feel like a cheap radio. So that's good. So, I guess uh, the proper way to do it is to do a follow-up video when I actually know what I'm doing. But, yeah, I thought I would do a quick unboxing of the BF F9 V2 Plus since no one else on YouTube has it yet. So, thanks for watching.